you learn a lot from studying at university, but the biggest lessons I've learned are not actually from the course content. If you want to hear more of what I mean, then stick around, watch the rest of this video, and hopefully you learn some new things. I see you, yes you, not subscribe to my channel. If you uh, do enjoy this video though, make sure you do hit the subscribe button and uh, yes, yeah, stay in touch with some more videos from me. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Saga and I've currently just finished a four year masters in aerospace engineering at the University of Sheffield. So there are five main things that I've learned outside of my course at university. So these are being able to prioritize, knowing the right people, establishing a healthy lifestyle, not caring what others think, and finally making or capitalizing on all the opportunities that are available to you. Okay, so the first one, the importance of being able to prioritize. So as an engineer, you often have a very busy university life where you're working on different things, projects, maybe you have many classes and so on and so on. But ultimately, you can make sure your life is not chaotic if you're able to prioritize various things and tasks and your life in general. The basis of prioritizing well is to think about what you can do right now that will most positively impact your future. So sometimes your time could be spent doing work, uh, it could also be sometimes spent doing sports and exercise, uh, and other times you could be prioritizing to spend time with friends and family. For example, maybe doing exercise is the most important thing to do immediately if you have been doing a lot of uni work, even though you still have a lot of university work left to do. Because this exercise may make the most positive impact for your future. So this is because maybe doing just one hour of exercise is much more beneficial to you than just adding on one more extra hour of doing uni work. And I like to visualize it as if you have like a ton of bar graphs and uh, you have your various levels of if you've done enough exercise or if you've done enough uni work and imagine if you've done no exercise but a lot of uni work, that one extra hour of uni work is going to be negligibly different to if you put that hour towards doing exercise. So that's the way I sort of visualize it in my head. So ultimately, being able to prioritize and learn how to prioritize will help you a lot in the future because you'll able to focus on things that you need to work on immediately to help you become more successful in the future in life in general, I guess. Number two, knowing the right people. It's so much easier while your life is if you know the right people. And it's actually quite evident that you are the average of the people you hang around with. So if you want to do well at university, then hang out with the same kind of people who also want to do well at university. Same says is if you want to do well in your career and progress, uh, then also hang out with people who want the same thing as well. A good example I have is if your group of friends like to play video games and you care about ranks and stuff like that, then you're more likely to care about your rank, even though you full well know it makes no difference outside of that group of friends or that video game. Therefore, if you're friends with people who want to get good grades and stuff like that, then you're going to make an effort to also be like them in order to fit into that group. So I hope it makes sense as to why it is super important to know the right people and hang out with the right people to help you achieve what you want to achieve. So number three, establishing a healthy lifestyle. So when you go to university, it's quite common that you live away from home. So, you know, you don't get cooked food by your parents and whatnot every day. So the thing is, it's like, it's so easy to eat, a junk, eat junk food and just not cook healthily for yourself and keep those good habits. So this is something definitely that I realized I had to work on whilst I was studying at university. It's really obvious, I mean, that you have to look after your health, but it's so easy to just fall into bad habits really and just, you know, not care as much as you should. One of the most easiest things I think you can do is literally just place um, healthier foods in your line of sight and stuff like that. So for me, um, if I want to eat a snack, all I have to do is just reach over here and grab some oranges or bananas or whatever. So I actually just have all my healthy snacks right in front of me so I don't even think about eating anything bad for me. Also, like planning your meals for the week is better because then you don't have to be in that situation where you have to decide on the day as to what you're going to eat because more often than not, if you're put in that position, you're going to choose something unhealthy because it's just 
something you immediately want. So I'd suggest definitely try and plan out what you're going to eat and make sure those things are healthy for you. Yeah, because if you don't plan, what you're going to end up doing is going down to Tesco, buying frozen pizza and shoving that in the oven. And that's not great for you in the long run. Okay, so the fourth thing I learned, this is probably one of the most favorite things I've learned, is to genuinely just do not care what other people think of you and, you know, anything that you do. Once you start thinking like this, you literally enjoy your life much more, I'd say, because there's no stress of, you know, behaving in a certain way, doing certain things and liking certain things. So, you know, you start to do stuff on your own and really enjoy what you do most days. Obviously, when I say don't care what other people think, I don't mean then turn into like a criminal or like just piss people off like that. So obviously, I mean, don't care how other people perceive you for things that you enjoy doing and, you know, stuff like that. Like, honestly, if you just stop caring what other people think, you just become more confident and outgoing to then meet more people, get involved in other activities and learn from these new experiences and become a more informed and well-rounded person. And, you know, it can help you success in various aspects of your life. See, many people fear failure, not because they fail, but because how other people will see them as a failure. And to this, I think is like, you know, if you don't do anything and you don't fail, then you're probably gonna have a pretty boring life and you're not gonna help yourself as much. It's kind of like saying, you know, I'm not going to cross a road because I might get hit by a car. It's like, great, I mean, you'll be safe, but you know, you won't have a really like enjoyable life if you don't cross a single road. So yeah, bottom line, literally do not care what other people think of you. It doesn't matter. It's their thoughts and opinions. It's not their life. So yeah, just live your life how you want to. Okay, so the fifth thing I learned outside of my course at university is to capitalize on all the opportunities available to you. So nowadays, there's a lot of hate towards universities and how people like, oh yeah, paying for university, you know, there's not much stuff that university teaches you and stuff like this, blah, 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 whatever. But the problem is that the, the people who say this are the ones who never really capitalize on all the opportunities and resources that the university has. So if you start to look into what the university can offer you outside of your course itself, then there's so much like options out there for you. Well, there, especially for me, there was at the University of Sheffield because there was a lot of student projects that I could get involved with that definitely I could not have done without going to university for sure and the thing is like you know you don't have to pay more to get involved in these student projects so in reality the output I got from university is far more than someone who didn't get involved in anything else because we both paid the same so my return on I guess investment to university was much higher because of the experiences and things like that I gained whilst at university. The thing I want to stress though is that the university doesn't always advertise these opportunities as wildly or as freely should I say as you would have th thought but the thing is you have to look yourself and try and figure out what the university has to offer for you and this can also apply to life in general and you can just go on the hunt and look for these opportunities that are available to you but the thing is it's like you have to make that first step to maybe talking to more people that you don't know and from that you go on to discovering and learning about more things and you know this is a good way to approach life in general because ultimately you don't know what opportunities are available to you until you start you know scratching the surface and be like okay let's see what 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 can i get involved with and so the thing I want to say is the lesson I learned here was always be on the lookout for opportunities because you never know how close they are to you and this is kind of linking into the fact of how you make your own luck sort of so people may call you lucky because you've been involved in these activities but the thing is it's like you went out purposefully trying to find stuff to do and how to improve yourself so it's not lucky in a sense where it just landed in your lap but it's lucky in a sense where you paved the path of trying to talk to people to discover what you could do and therefore ended up being lucky that you spoke to these people. 
Well, that concludes this video today about what other things I learned outside of my degree. And this hopefully can help you guys figure out how you can, I guess, make the most of your time at university and apply these to your careers after that, which I definitely will. So if you enjoyed my content, definitely subscribe to the channel, like the video, and also go and follow me on TikTok as well, because I have other videos on there that I post. So definitely go ahead and do that. And I shall see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching, guys.